Hi, my name's Matt. I got a new refrigerator. It's 20 years old, but it's new to me. And what this means is that it's finally quiet enough to record in my kitchen again. Let's celebrate by making a pizza. For this pizza recipe, we'll need one and one half cups of water, a pack of dry yeast, 500 grams of flour, two tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, more olive oil, cornmeal, you know, this is starting to sound very complicated and expensive and messy. If only there were a more convenient way to enjoy fresh tasting pizza at home. Fortunately, there is, with the help of Dr. Oetker. Now, you're probably already familiar with some of Dr. Oetker's more popular vegetarian pizzas, like Pizza Fungi, Pizza Quattro Formaggi, Pizza Spinaci, but I'm really excited today because they've got a new vegetarian pizza out, the Pizza Cavolo. It's a thin and crispy pizza with kale, tomato, ricotta, mozzarella, and Edam cheese. And having tried several of these already, in fact, that's why I've taken so long to make the video, I keep eating them, uh, I can say these are probably the best pizza that Dr. Oetker have, have released in Australia so far. It's, it's just incredibly light and fresh tasting. You're gonna hear me repeating that a lot, but you would not know that this came from a freezer if someone didn't tell you. Just a quick pizza pro tip. If you put aluminium foil beneath the rack that you're going to cook your Dr. Oetker on, it'll help keep your oven clean. Also have a large surface ready to take the pizza out onto. It's just a little bit too big for an ordinary dinner plate. And thanks again to Dr. Oetker for my wonderful Papa Giuseppe's pizza cutter. I love it, I use it all the time. All right, here's the frozen pizza. The oven's ready, in it goes. That's just 11 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius in a fan forced oven. And it's done. Looks great. There's a wonderful aroma of herbs and cheese. It smells delicious. And here it is, all cooked. As you can see, it very closely matches the picture on the box. You know what you're getting with a Dr. Oetker Ristorante pizza. They don't lie to you like so many other unnamed pizza companies try to do. Try to do. So let's cut it up. I like to cut mine into eight small pieces and then eat them all anyway because they're delicious. So how does it taste? Let's give it a try. As you can see, very, very fresh looking. Wonderful tomato sauce. The kale is good. It actually has a flavor that complements the others on the pizza. The cheeses, multiple cheeses. It's got ricotta and edam and mozzarella and you can distinctly taste the three different kinds of cheese in combination with the other flavors. The red onion is, is crisp and firm like you would find on a fresh pizza. Really, it's good and you should try it for yourself. If you've ever been turned off the concept of frozen pizzas by one of those disgusting manhole covers that they sell at supermarkets, Try a Dr. Oetker, it'll change your mind. These, these are what frozen pizzas could and should be. Dr. Oetker Ristorante Pizza Cavallo. Simply outstanding. You really have to try one for yourself and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.